All right, so a little a little more anatomy for y'all. We just covered the hypothalamus, which is under the thalamus. So we're now going to talk about the thalamus. This is the sensory relay center for all our senses other than smell. So remember, we have five senses. We have uh, seeing, tasting, touching, smelling. Um, pretty sure I covered all of them. This is a relay center from the body for all these senses, and um, except for smell, okay? So there's multiple nuclei that we're going to talk about. Again, it's broken down into specific parts that each uh, does a specific sense. So the VPO, this is the ventral posterior lateral nucleus. This one does touch. It's the sense of touch. Um, there's a couple input tracks that we're going to learn more about later, but those are the spinal thalamic and the dorsal columns. These are for um, basically touch, temperature, vibration. And again, this is a sensory... Um, it, these are just basic senses, so it's going to go from these tracks to the somatosensory cortex. Easy peasy. The VPM is the ventral posterior medial nucleus. Uh, this is the spatial sensation and taste. Um, you can just remember it through this nice mnemonic, which is VPM is makeup on the face. So you get sensation in the face and you get taste. Uh, you're going to learn more about this later, but you're going to know that the trigeminal nerve is responsible for all this. So honestly, you don't have to memorize all this. You're going to learn all these specific ones. You're going to learn what the spinal thalamic does. You're going to know that that does touch. You're going to know that this is um, trigeminal nerve is touch for the uh, sensation for the face. And then obviously, if it's sensation, it's going to go to the primary somatosensory cortex. The next ones are the LGN, which is the lateral geniculate nucleus. This is responsible for vision. Again, this perfect little mnemonic, so easy. LGN is light. Uh, you're going to know that you're going to learn that the cranial nerve two is for vision, and uh, as we remember, which part of the cerebral cortex is for vision? It's the occipital cortex. That's where the visual cortex is. Medial geniculate nucleus, hearing. So medial for music. You're going to know that the input is the superior olive and the inferior of, um, colliculus of the tectum. And then obviously if it's hearing, it's going to go to the auditory cortex. That's in the temporal lobe. Okay. Finally, we have the ventral lateral nucleus, the VON. Um, this is not a sense, actually. It's more for coordination of movement. We're going to learn later that the basal ganglia and the cerebellum are involved in muscle coordination. And again, if it's muscle coordination, obviously the final destination is going to be in the motor cortex. So I think this is more of an introductory slide. I want you to, you can come back to it later after you've covered all these inputs, the, all, these, all these different tracks, all these uh, inputs for the touch, all into inputs for vision, inputs for hearing. And then it's going to make things a lot easier so you don't have to memorize. And then the mnemonics is going to make things really easy too. Uh, I think they just make it so easy to memorize.